Audi TT Mark 1, seat belt mount cap repair. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where tonight I am covering fixing the seat belt mounting point covers. So if like me you've removed your seat belts in the past or someone has, you'll find the covers are probably broken or perished. You put your seat belt on and the cover comes with it. There's some small pieces of plastic that hold the cover in place. These have got very brittle and break over time. So I fix my covers by using a small piece of EVA foam that is used to make a new bracket that holds the cover in place. With the cap out of the way, you can clearly see where the missing clip has snapped off from. There are two more clips remaining at the back and the other side, so I'm simply going to make an EVA bracket for the outer corner of the cap. When I say a bracket, it's actually just a piece of EVA foam with a lip cut into it. Chances are that the seatbelt cap still have the groove parts that engage with the clips on the plastic ring that have snapped off. So the EVA bracket is going to play the part of the clip. I started by measuring where the remaining clip lip will engage with the cap. It appears to be 9mm from the surface and the cap sits on this thin edge which is about 2mm thick. So the EVA lip will need to be 7mm from the base of the EVA foam. I'm going to stick it to this thin edge. Looking inside the cap, the grooves that engage with the clip appear to be 7mm from the edge of the cap, so my maths is working out right. I have chosen EVA as the material, as it is soft enough to be pliable for the purpose of this, but it is also rigid and firm enough to engage with the plastic lip. I do do a lot of EVA modelling as you can see, but this is possibly for another video that I may add to the DIY projects of my channel. I have these lug type offcuts that I have left over from a previous project and I'm going to cut them to size. Using the lip in the cap as a guide, I'm going to push the EVA into these lips to make an indentation. You can see that here, although it looks like I've lost a lip to one side of the clip. That is not a problem as I'm going to glue a small piece of hard plastic where the lip once was to help engage with the EVA. With a craft knife or scalpel, you can now cut away the excess material from the lug to a depth of about 2 to 4 millimeters. Leave enough thickness in the 10 millimeter thick foam to be able to stick down the edge. To tidy up any loose bits of EVA, I used a soldering iron to melt it flat. Next, apply a layer of contact cement to the base edge that you'll be sticking down. The trick with contact cement is to leave it 10 to 20 minutes to go off to make this work. You also need to apply the same cement to the surface or edge on the car you're going to stick it to. It will feel dry after this time and you will think how the hell is this going to stick but believe me it does. When the adhesive on both the car surface and the EVA bracket is dry it's time to line them up with their final positions. To get this spot on I am taping the bracket to the inside of the mount cap in the engaged position. All that is exposed at the base is the part of the bracket with the dry contact adhesive. Carefully lining this up with the car click the cap into position. Hopefully the bracket has made sufficient contact to mark itself and hold its location. Now remove the cap gently and remove the tape before pressing the bracket down firmly to the car. You get one shot at this to make a good bond. Now click the cap into position once more and if all lined up the bracket is firm enough to spring back into the lips of the cap to lock it in place. This is a solid enough solution to solve coming off when I pull my seat belt also not as final as gluing the actual cap to the car. That is a bad idea in my opinion as you would probably have to break the cap completely if you need to remove the seat belt in the future. So job done. If you like what you've seen today please think about giving it a thumbs up, also think about subscribing and don't forget to check out some of my other content on the Audi TT here on the channel. Thanks again for watching and see you soon. Take care.